Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video. Today we are looking at a tool that, to be honest, I built just to save myself some time, but it's grown into something that can fundamentally change your workflow in Kali Linux. We are talking about LazyScript or LScript. Now, before we look at a single line of code or open a terminal, we need to have a serious talk. I am not responsible for how you use this tool. Be legal and not stupid. What we are discussing today is powerful. It automates processes that can break networks, compromise privacy, and expose vulnerabilities. This script is intended strictly for penetration testers, security researchers, and network administrators auditing their own systems or systems they have explicit written permission to test. If you use this on your neighbor's Wi-Fi or a corporate network without authorization, you are committing a crime. Don't be that person. Use this to learn, not to burn. All right, with that out of the way, let's talk efficiency. There is a misconception that using scripts makes you a noob or a script kitty, but in the professional world, time is money. If you are typing out the same 20 lines of code every time you need to change your MAC address or launch a specific attack vector, you aren't being hardcore, you're being inefficient. LazyScript is essentially a massive automation framework for Kali Linux. It's designed for whoever wants to type less and actually do more. Whether you are just starting out and struggling to remember complex syntax, or you're a seasoned pen tester who wants a unified dashboard, this tool is your new best friend. It streamlines the boring stuff so you can focus on the actual analysis. Let's look at the core features. When you first launch LScript, you aren't just getting a list of tools, you're getting a command center. One of the most tedious parts of setting up a penetration test is anonymity and interface management. Usually you have to manually down your interface, call up Mac Changer, randomize the address, and bring the interface back up. LazyScript handles this in seconds. From the main menu, you can enable or disable network interfaces, change your MAC address to stay anonymous, and view both your public IP and your local MAC address instantly. It strips away the setup time. But the real game changer in the latest update is the custom keyboard shortcuts. If you type KS in the terminal, you can map your favorite tools within LScript to your own specific key bindings. This means you can launch a complex framework like Metasploit or an intricate Wi-Fi attack with a couple of keystrokes. It allows you to build a workflow that fits your muscle memory, not the other way around. Now, let's talk about the arsenal. You can install whichever tools you want directly from within LScript. You don't need to go hunting on GitHub, cloning repositories, and fixing dependency errors manually. LScript acts as a package manager for the best hacking tools available. For Wi-Fi auditing, it integrates the heavy hitters. You've got Fluxion and Wiff Fisher for social engineering attacks, Wiftay for automated auditing, and Airgeddon, which is basically a Swiss army knife for wireless networks. It also includes Fern Wi-Fi Cracker and keeps them out if you need to manage bandwidth on the local network. For information gathering and recon, which is 90% of the job, you have tools like Red Hawk, Recon Dog, and Angry IP Scanner. These allow you to map out the network you are authorized to test efficiently. If you are looking into exploitation frameworks, LScript makes it incredibly easy to deploy the Fat Rat or Empire. It even includes Metasploit automation, which we will get to in a second. The list goes on. We're talking about OSR framework for open source intelligence, comics for command injection, and even BleachBit to clean up your tracks locally. And yes, it receives updates constantly, so new tools are being added all the time. It aggregates the work of amazing developers like DeltaFlux, DRV82, and ScreetSec into one terminal window. But LScript isn't just a launcher, it has its own logic. Let's look at the Wi-Fi password scripts. It automates the process of capturing WPA and WPA2 handshakes. It helps you hunt for WPS pins and can even handle legacy web hacking if you run into older infrastructure. Beyond Wi-Fi, it handles email spoofing tests to check if your organization's email filters are set up correctly to prevent phishing. One of my favorite features is the Metasploit automation. You can create listeners and payloads and save those listeners for later use. This saves you from typing use exploit slash multi slash handler and setting L host and L port every single time you restart your session. 
There are even hidden shortcuts for things like auto eternal blue exploiting, checking for that famous SMB vulnerability, and browser auto exploiting using Beef and MITMF. Again, these are dangerous tools. They are here to help you patch holes in your security, not to exploit others. So is Lazy Script for you? If you value your time and want a centralized hub for your penetration testing tools, the answer is yes. It bridges the gap between manual terminal labor and automated efficiency. Remember, the goal here is to work smarter. Use the custom shortcuts, familiarize yourself with the interface, and keep your tools updated. I've left the link to the repository in the description below. Go check it out, read the documentation, and as always, stay legal, stay safe, and keep learning. If you found this video helpful, smash that like button and let me know in the comments. What is the one tool you use every single day? I'll catch you in the next one.